I'm gonna try my hand at a mono black. Mono black, just what hand sculpting, like. Well, this I card? mean, it'll you know dress, despise, sneeze. Now what's tight and, is. Uh, but you know you got you got read the bones and sign in blood. So yeah. There's your draw power, and they could work in your favor. But then yeah, you read know, the bones is strictly read, better. Yeah. You should definitely use both. that. And then you got Citadel Siege or whatever the. Oh yeah. Each is. each turn lose two gain two. Yeah. And then I mean Lily's control and tutor. And yeah, I could do it. You got Murderous Cut, you got the Blight, you got the Sorrow. Here's what I would do. I would splash the blue, because then Downfall. you get the you get Silumgar, and you get the card draw from Cruise and Dig. I mean, basically, you're running just so a different version blue of Blue-Black Control. Oh, yeah, you're running a different version, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be, I really want to try something like Esper that wins with the Ojitai Exemplar. Mm -hmm. Because that guy likes to be basically by himself. Because he has, he doesn't have a prowess trigger, but he benefits from casting non-creature spells. Yeah. Um, I really liked, I really liked the presence that Artarkas Command gave in that in that match right there. Um, otherwise, that's just another lightning. That's just another lightning strike, and yeah. all you're doing is giving three damage to Aaron, and you're not getting, you're not going to kill the Carroted. That was probably the best interaction this deck is going to see. Yeah, with that that's card. that's how this deck is supposed to win. Yeah. Uh, this deck doesn't go. This this deck doesn't usually go for any sort of fatty. So you're not going to see Stormbreak, uh, Thunderbreak Regent. You're not going to see Stormbreath Dragon. You're not going to see like Arbor Colossus or Polycranos. You're just going to see these down and dirty green guys and uh, or red guys. Sorry, and they're just going to buff tokens, burn. That's pretty much how the deck goes. That's all it needs to do. Two fodder outpost siege and. Flame Wake Phoenix. This deck might see Flame Wake Phoenix only because you play Flame Wake, it gets killed. Oh, I oh another cyborg card Aaron might bring in Ultimate Price. Oh yeah. That might be uh, a potential answer that Aaron might be able to pull out of his hat. Aaron does play gain lands though, so the little bit of life gain sprinkled in there with some of these gain lands might. Uh, yeah, and, but you know that's like that really hurts decks like this. Yeah. One here and there. All of a sudden, you play three gain lands, and you've undone a burn. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And that's card advantage. Card advantage. Um, I mean, the, the 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 downfall to Aaron's deck is if he stumbles at all, if he gets a halfway good hand, it's you know, it's just it's hard to come back. the uh, The red deck is going to punish, and it's going to punish hard if you're not able to answer the threats as they come down. And this is something this round that Aaron has going for him. He's going to play first, right? So he's so going to be able to scry. Gonna be racing as hard. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna get that one turn breathing room to scry something he doesn't want. Now that being said, Aaron's got Carotids. He's got coursers. Those are the bodies you want on the ground in the early game because that's going to deter a lot of the tokens. And the great thing about the courser is the courser can bite back. Correct. So the courser going to be able to kill off. The monastery uh, Swiss spears and all the tokens because again, Corsair. Sean doesn't buff tokens. Sean wants to he wants Sean wants to go wide with tokens. Corsair is the kind of card that can single handedly shut down Sean's entire deck. Right, because then I mean you think of the interaction. You're gonna drop a fetch and gain two land. The fetch comes in, gain you drop land. a gain land. You're gonna gain two life. Two life, yeah. On that, that's even that, that, that's huge. Yeah, that's that that's is really one big. land undoing a burn. That's a wild slash in the trash. Yep. Okay, so uh, if Aaron can stabilize, get a board presence early. And like, and, and the thing is, is like, if Sean has to use a Stoke the Flames on a Courser, that's a win for Aaron. That's yeah. that's four damage you're not going to take to the face. Oh, you're essentially trading a four mana burn that's not going to hit you for a three drop creature that's pure value. All right, so it looks like, are they going to keep here? You know, Aaron is on the play, Sean on the draw, and they're going to keep. So there's our fetch. I'm sorry, our scry. scry. Yep. And uh, Brozinski will leave it on top and pass it off to Sean. And the thing about Sean is, you know, he talked about how efficient the mana base is for his deck. Like, you know, you can kind of keep you can keep a slim hand because you're gonna make it work. Ooh, we saw it in a gate right there in the, in the hand. Oh, I don't want to yeah. say it too loud because we're you know we're about ten yeah. feet away, but we did see. I saw that too. Kind of see that yep. peak right there. That's I had a feeling. Why not? I yep. Mean, that's and keep I would tell you what, the there's board. nobody there's there's nobody better at control in the shop than Brodzinski. He is a savant. Is that a foil one? That's a foil land. <laughs> That's All right. old school foil. You can tell because the shine will give you epilepsy. Zergo the Bell Striker coming in. 
Oh, that was a dash. Okay. So Morrison kind of, you know, and Sean's not a slouch when it comes to this deck. He goes, hey, man, you got control. I know you sided in your control. Guess what? I got dash. This is going to be hard to deal with. Yep. All right, so Brzezinski now on the board. Uh, three mana. I can't, I know one for sure is a, uh, he's got a black and a green for sure. I'm, oh, and in the scry, I assume it's like a Temple Deceit or something. Uh, he has a Temple of Mystery. He has... Uh, so Morrison's gonna fetch right there. He'll drop the 19. Doing some rulings. And uh, he, you know, and now Sean, that's got to send a message right there. Sean's got this green locked in already. <laughs> All right, so three mana on the board. We have Zergo in hand. That's the only card that Aaron should have a beat on right now. And uh, depending on how Sean taps his mana is going to be very indicative. Uh, never mind. Ratmaster on the board. Now this is something Aaron's gonna want to answer. Gotta answer as soon as possible. Yeah, do do not want turn three. One goblin's gonna slip, uh, sneak in, uh, and and uh, Sean has got the life advantage right now. So we talk up all these ways to get life, but uh, Aaron's gotta draw him at the end of the day. Yavamaya Coast, that is the blue uh, blue green uh, pain land. It so is. Aaron finally ready to do his first play of the game. Bioblight. Okay, Seder Wayfinder. So the Seder Wayfinder is going to pull double duty here. He's going to push uh, stuff to the graveyard. And he's also going to give. He's going to give a one blocker. And this next turn, oh man, so we should get Silumgar there, and then mur a murderous cut and gain lands and Urborg, man. So, so he's going to take the cut. No, he can't take the oh, cut. Oh, he can't take the cut. He can only, only take land. land. Yeah, and, only lands. Uh, that just land. Just land. Yeah. Or is it enchantments also? Which one is safe? Well, let's bring it up. Let's pull it up. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played a graveyard deck. Oh yeah. Seder Wayfinder. Yeah. When it enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. You can put a land card. Oh, so it is just a land. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Cyborg Tech from Morrison coming in, clearing the way. This Goblin Roundmaster is going to be swinging for six. Uh, will we see Negate here? Aaron Rosen is going to take one because his pain land is going to take him, and he is going to take. Is. He is going to ping down. Or wait, 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 what do we got? Oh, we got Murderous Cut. Maybe. Murderous Cut on the, on the, on the Rabble Rabble. Master. Okay. So he still takes one. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't because he tapped he, it for Because he delved, yep. One for the goblin, though. Aaron, are you at 16? We yeah, did miss so much somewhere. <laughs> arc, no, it was arc lightning before that. Oh, okay, it yeah, was you're one, right. It was one to the satyr, two to Aaron. That makes sense. 14, man. You, now uh, the real question. This is the point where Aaron has to think, how am I going to make Sean run out of steam so I can stabilize? Right now, the steam looks good. How many cards do you think Sean has in his hand? Four? Uh, four to five. Now... If Aaron can stick a, a fat butt like Tassigar out, I don't even think he needs Tassigar out yet. He's just got to sit back and play the negate game. I think he may have two now. Well, what's important is uh, that character is going to stick around. Sean has nothing in the deck that can, that can that kill yet. it. Now, that being said, if he forces Aaron into block, he can possibly pump, as we did see in the previous game, off of prowess triggers and uh, the Artarkus command. And you can pretty much guarantee. Okay, what do we got? Wild Slash? Oh, Zergo. Oh, Zergo's being hard cast this time. So Zergo's still on the board there. You see that for Sean. He's being hard cast this time. All right. Uh, judging by the way that... Oh, is he doing my giant in the hand? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. That is... That's definitely sideboard tech, man. 4-6. And try to keep... Uh, just uh, put it on the table over there. I can't be trying to eat pizza right now. We oh have an exciting match in progress. I'm going to eat the hell out of some pizza, though, here in like the next 20 minutes or however long it takes for this match to get over. <laughs> Once this match is over, I'm probably going to go home. <laughs> I'm shoving my face in that pizza box and not coming out. I got diabetes in check. <laughs> so five lands uh, on Brodzinski's side. Oh, Delve, Tass Tassiger, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Banana Man. That is huge. Oh, Molten Primordial is pretty good, dude. 
Was he from, uh, oh, Negate, stopping the Stoke. Uh, I think that was going right to Aaron, too, so trying to get him from 14 to 10 and Negate. Uh, that, that was a big play, man. It was huge. Yeah. Uh, he, has a, he has a fat body. He, he answered a problem. I mean, a Stoke for a Negate, that's exactly what he wanted. And here's the thing also you got to remember is Tassiger's bottom ability, two, in this case, it's going to be two black or blue, yeah. put the two top cards from your uh, library or in your graveyard, then your player, then the opponent gets to give you a card back. Yeah. So by minimizing the number of cards in Aaron's graveyard by using the delve effectively, he can sculpt his graveyard into his opponent having to give him a value card back. And I, I think right now... Negate's going to come back. Negate could come back. And... Uh, so that's just like Tas Tasigar is man. He he's the conductor of the train of value sound in this situation. Tasigar is a baller. This I had this explained to me right when Tasigar came out. I think it was, and it was explained to me like this: with Delve built into Tasigar, right? He is potentially a one-drop fully buffed Goyf with an ability. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I, I hadn't thought of it that way. Like when he first came out, I was like, oh, this guy's kind of cool. You know, All right. So Aaron going to work right now. Uh, trying to block away those goblins, and he'll drop to 12, I believe, because that Zergo is going to come through. But that is a token that he's not going to be able to get back whatsoever. Correct. Also, that's one less body that he can convoke. And we are seeing, I think this is like, this is turn five or six. Sean's stuck on four, going to fetch for one. And uh, do not be, do not be uh, surprised if we see two, three, maybe four turns go by and we're not going to see uh, Tassiger swing at all. Yes. What is that? Is there a rare in there? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't done anything else with it. Okay. It's crimped bad is what it is. Okay. You can tell right here. All right, so Morrison, Dragon Fodder on the board. I think Whims of the Fates is an awful card, and you shouldn't put it in your deck. <laughs> <laughs> so purely speaking from a competitive standpoint, I don't think Whims what, of the Fates. What is your question, Steam? Well, anyway, that was a very vague question. I think he, cause we were talking about, we're talking about Primordial, I think. And oh. then he's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yo, Primordial can do work. And the red Commander, one? Oh, some get out of here, dude. Okay, whatever. Hey man, yeah, misprint right. hero's downfall being opened open the shop. I don't care about that right now. Doomwake giant coming down. Drop the base. Heavy. All right, so now we are seeing it. All right, so I'm gonna catch up here. Uh oh. Okay, so using uh, destructive right there. So Destructive Reverie uh, just gets rid of an, an artifact or enchantment, and Doomwake Giant, as you see right there, is an enchantment creature. So Brzezinski dropping to 10. Um, but Tasker did get through, uh, wiping out all the goblin tokens. Uh, we see right there are that big di blue dice that Morrison's got, being a, setting him at 14 life. Two more. Oh, Goblin Rattlemaster coming in. So three, Brzezinski down to seven. It's okay, no fear. Aaron has no fear. He knows Aaron coming going. in for four, so now does Aaron got a plan here? Because now he's trying to race Sean as he's down three life. If he swings, he'll be in range of Stoke the Flame. I mean if if Aaron can block. Aaron's not gonna swing. Stater Wayfinder. What he's are we gonna, gonna get? Swing. Stadisi, murderous cut, opulent palace, and a <laughs> more removal you don't want to see go to the pit. Yeah. Whoa, don't hit the camera, please. We're like in the last round. I'll lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wrath of God. Man, now the camera's all skewed. It's okay. I guess. They can see everything. I have the glare's a little bit better, actually, to be honest. I don't know. I'm, I'm upset. Okay. Well, I'm upset. I'm not. I should have moved the camera down to that side. That would have been the, be the better play. Anyways, uh, back to actual playing Magic. So this uh, Goblin Rattle Master is going to be threatening to constantly generate tokens on Morrison's side. Swift Spear out. Take over the 
Uh, Hero's Downfall is going to put the Goblin away before combat goes off, so Sean will not get the token. But here comes the team, so expect that Wayfinder to be thrown in front of the way. Eliminate a Goblin token and uh, block the, uh, I guess, yeah. Zergo. So one damage gets through, I think.